Hello my dear students, I hope you all are doing great. This is me Seema Banjade, your mentor, your guide and today I'm here with part 3 of polynomials. I believe you have already gone through part 1 and part 2 of polynomials. If you haven't gone through them yet, please go to the checklist that I have playlist that I have created by the name of polynomials. There you can get both the parts together. You know, you go through them and then you can come to this part, part 3. Okay, so let me tell you what we are going to discuss today. So today's class is going to be fully dedicated to factor theorem. Yes, you heard it right that we are going to discuss just factor theorem today. Okay, as it so let's begin with factor theorem, right? Now, talking about factor theorem, we need to understand this word factor, what factor means. So factor means factor are the numbers you know that divide a number completely let's say there is a number let's take any example i'm taking 15 here so let's take 15 so 15 is completely divisible by 3 you know 3 can divide 15 completely so 3 is a factor of 15 by dividing completely means when you divide 15 by 3 you will get the remainder as 0 right 0 remainder so that's why 3 is a factor of 15 1 is a factor of 15 because 1 also divides completely, 15 completely. Uh, 5 is a factor of 15. 10, no. And then 15 itself. You know, like 1, 3, 5, 15. These are the factors of 15 because they can divide 15 completely. So this is the meaning of factors. Right? So this is what factors mean. Now, coming to factor theorem. Right? Before, you remember that in part 2 of polynomials, we have already discussed about remainder theorem. So, before we, you know, we uh, get into factor theorem, I want you to revise that as well, remainder theorem. Because remainder theorem and factor theorem are interlinked, okay? So, let's talk about remainder theorem first. Because, you know, generally students get confused between remainder theorem and factor theorem. So, there is no need of getting confused. They are interlinked. Once we see how they are linked to each other, there will be no confusion, right? Okay. Let's revise remainder theorem. What remainder theorem is? Do you remember? Okay. Remainder theorem says that if a polynomial Px, now Px can be a polynomial of degree 1 or greater than 1. If a polynomial Px is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a, Px is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a, then the remainder will be, remainder will be P of a, okay. So this was remainder theorem, right. If Px is divided by x minus a, then the remainder will be P a. Okay, now let's come to factor theorem. What factor theorem says? Now, before I tell you the statement of factor theorem, let's do a simple exercise so that we get to factor theorem on our own. Okay, now, if I ask you whether, whether 5 is a factor of 70 or not, what I'm asking you, tell me whether 7, whether 5 is a factor of 70 or not to check it what you will do you will divide 70 by 5 if the remainder comes out to be 0 you will say that yes 5 is a factor of 70 right means you will divide it and you will check that remainder if it, it is 0 you will say yes it is a factor yes 5 is a factor of 70 and if the remainder is not 0 then you will say it is not a factor of 70 right okay what if I ask you tell me whether x minus a is a factor of px or not okay you have to tell me whether x minus a is a factor of px or not so in that case you know you have to find out whether this number is a factor of this or not what you will do you will divide it okay if it divides it completely means if the remainder comes out to be zero if the remainder comes zero then you will say that this is a factor of px and if the remainder is not 0, then in that case, we will say x minus a is not a factor of px. Clear? Okay, this much is clear. Now, what we are doing? We are finding out the remainder to check 
whether x minus a is a factor of px or not we will find out the remainder if remainder is zero then we will say it is a factor okay now we are finding out the remainder right remainder it means to find out the remainder we need to divide it right then only we will get the remainder or we have some other way also we definitely have some other way right we have a shortcut remainder theorem gives us the remainder right p of a so we will find out p of a means we are finding out remainder if p of a comes out to be zero then we will say x minus a is a factor of px clear we are doing the same thing we are just getting we are finding the remainder if the remainder is zero then we will say it is a factor and remainder is what remainder theorem gives us an easy way to find out the remainder it says that p a is a remainder you don't need to do this much calculation you don't need to divide it entirely remainder you can simply get by you know just putting value a into the polynomial and you get the uh, remainder right so if p of a is 0 then x minus a is a factor of px and if it is not 0 then it will not be a factor of px simple let's now understand factor theorem in detail okay so what factor theorem says it says that if you divide a polynomial px by x minus a okay if you divide a polynomial px by a linear polynomial x minus a then there are two cases okay if you divide px by x minus a then if p of a is 0 then x minus a will be its factor okay and what the second case says it is vice versa of this if x minus a is a factor then p of a will be zero simple right these conditions are vice versa means if p of a is zero then x minus a will be factor or if p x minus a is a factor then p of a will be zero okay let's understand this with a quick example right okay you see this question on your screen examine whether x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 okay you have to examine whether x plus 2 is a factor of this or not okay how we can find out what factor theorem says it says that it will be x plus 2 will be a factor of this only if the remainder is 0 means if p of a is 0 so if x plus 2 so p of a means p of minus 2 right x plus 2 is a factor you have to check whether this is a factor or not so what you will do you will keep p of minus 2 you'll find p of minus 2 okay if it is plus here you will use minus if it is minus here you will use plus here p of 2 right if it is plus 2 we'll use minus 2 if it is minus we will use minus if let's say if it is like this 2x plus 3 okay let's say you have to find out this that 2x plus 3 is a factor of this so in that case what you will do p of a what what you will uh, you know replace a with so you will uh, equate this with 0 you will get that x is equal to minus 3 upon 2 so in that case we will find out p of minus 3 upon 2 clear okay so here x plus 2 is a factor of this or not we have to find out this so what you will do you will find out p of minus 2 so p of minus 2 means wherever there is x we need to replace that x with minus 2 so here uh, minus 2 cube plus 3 minus 2 square plus 5 minus 2 plus 6 okay so minus 2 cube minus 8 plus 3 into minus 2 square minus 2 square is 4 4 into 3 is 12 plus minus minus 10 plus 6 so how much it is minus 8 minus 10 minus uh, 18 12 and 6 18 so it is minus 18 plus 18 so 18 18 gets cancelled out so the remainder is uh, so p of minus 2 is 0 okay so what factor theorem says it says that if p of minus 2 p of a is 0 then definitely x plus 2 is a factor of it okay if it is 0 then it is a factor clear okay so by using this factor theorem we can easily find out whether it is a factor or not we don't need to do you know division and then find out the remainder and then say that whether it is a factor or not we will simply find out p of a and we'll see whether it's zero or not if it is zero then it is a factor of px 
and if it is not zero then it is not a factor of px clear now the second case what it says if p of a is zero i just want you to you know make both the cases clear the language the statement if p of a is zero then p of uh, then x minus a will be its factor so in this case p of minus 2 is zero then x plus 2 is a factor right it's vice versa will also be true means if x minus a is a factor then p of a will be zero simple if i say that x minus 4 is a factor of this polynomial x minus 4 is a factor of this i am saying that it is a factor x minus 4 is a factor then what do you conclude by the second case of factor theorem then definitely p of 4 will be zero clear Let's quickly summarize the factor theorem. This theorem says if Px is a polynomial of degree greater than 1 and A is any real number, then the first case, x minus A is a factor of Px if P A is equal to 0 and the second case says P A will be 0 if x minus A is a factor of Px. This theorem has a lot of applications which uh, we will be discussing in the upcoming videos for today. Let's wrap it up here. Uh, before leaving, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and please hit that a bell icon to get the latest updates on the upcoming videos. Till then, bye-bye and take care.